Climatologists believe this winter could be the start of a multi-year wet cycle right here in Utah. Now, while that would help our drought, new specialist Mike Anderson explains why there's still an urgent need to conserve. These wet to dry cycles hit about every five to six years, so climatologists say there's a good chance that we sort of flip the switch on that. But while that may mean some good years ahead, we are still facing a water supply crisis. Whether you like winter or not, it's hard to complain about what we're seeing right now. Very optimistic. Uh, we couldn't have written a better script for the first half of winter. Dr. John Meyer is with the Utah Climate Center based at Utah State University. He says after the last few years of drought, the snowpack, the conditions in the mountains are all a welcome improvement. There's a high degree of optimism that our year-over-year -year reservoir levels will begin to fill back up uh, and we'll start to see some steps out of the, the drought conditions that we've been stuck in. Meyer says all this snow and rain may start to taper off as we get toward February, but all indications are that this water year will come in above average and that we may be in the start of a roughly five to six years of stronger precipitation. There's a lot of optimism that as the return of this wet cycle occurs, that our water resources will rebound. But we're not in the clear, not by a long shot. While our population and demands for water continue to grow, climatologists are seeing an overall gradual decrease in the precipitation we get every year thanks to climate change. There will be a paradigm shift in Utah's relationship with water use inside of city limits and in agricultural settings. And whether that paradigm shift happens in the next year or two, or it happens in the next decade or two, it's going to happen. Sooner or later, we all will have to make adjustments to protect that finite resource. And Meyer says he expects to see more wet weather in the next couple of weeks to come. It's hard to predict beyond that, but he says there's no indication that we'll sort of uh, flatline like we did last year toward the end of the season. Mike Anderson, KSL 5 News.